Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, if it's your first time here, my name's Cole and I love makeup and colourful things. So if you like those two, maybe hit that subscribe button. Today I thought I would talk about why possibly my one true love. Sorry Sam. <laughs> and I'm going to talk today about my um, rainbow palettes. But I feel like I've got that little extra bit of pizzazz in my collection. So they're not just a rainbow palette. Um, I've got nine palettes to talk about again, weirdly the same amount as my neutrals video and that was not even planned. Um, but let's get straight into it because I don't want to ramble about the palettes without actually showing you the palettes forever. <laughs> so, first off, this one is, this one's a little bit of something different, this isn't like your traditional rainbow palette. Um, this is the Nomad Tokyo palette. And this is the most beautiful pastel rainbow palette. Now, some people might think this is not a rainbow palette. In my eyes, this is rainbow. It's got many colours. It's a rainbow. Um, so you've got one line of sort of like true mattes. You've got one line of sort of ever so slightly sheeny shades. And then these shades up here are basically like a foiled, beautiful, like duochrome type product. Um, I love the Nomad formula, it's gorgeous. Um, these pastels are, while still pastel, really quite intense. There's plenty of kick of pigment in them. I mean, you can see from that orange, it's just like a really gorgeous bright shade. Um, and I just think it's really lovely. I love a pastel palette, but a lot of the time you'll find it's just like a matte pastel and then a corresponding shimmer. Whereas I like the fact this has got sort of the varying tones, it's got the light sort of dusty grey black in it. Um, I think it's a really good one if you love pastel eyeshadows but you want to sort of step up your game a little bit this is definitely a great one to pick out. I've got quite a lot of indie brands today actually. This is the Cosmic Brushes Royal Rose palette. Everybody's obsessed with the Serenity which I do also love but I think this one is beautiful too. Um, it is sort of more of a pink toned palette but I definitely think this sort of edges into the rainbow. You've got the yellows, the blues, the oranges, the purples. The only thing you sort of really missing is like a green matte but you've got a green shimmer um, and then sort of more like actual true red. Um, but I think this is a really gorgeous palette. If you were to sort of organise it in shades I think it would look more rainbow but again it's got these incredibly like high quality metallics the mattes are really beautiful they blend like a dream and this palette is 18 pounds which is just such a bargain um i did try to get the muse palette but um we're not going to talk about that because i had it in my basket and it's all out. It's literally on the side at five o'clock i could have cried i could have actually cried but <laughs> um i love this one though too <laughs> Next, we're going to talk about Blend Bunny Surge. Now, this one is broken. <laughs> is oh, it's so beautiful. Um, this has basically everything in it. It perhaps doesn't look like it's sort of looking out face value, um, but you've got your greens, your pinks, your reds, your oranges, purples, blues, greens. You've got these incredible corresponding shimmers um, and then you've got pastels and they're all sort of these like even the pastels have got like a grungy tone to them I love this palette and I love the neons at the top um, they are so pigmented so high quality um, it's just something a little bit different it's rainbow with a twist with a little bit of pizzazz um, and I, I really love this palette it is gorgeous. It's, they're so easy to work with. The only thing I would change about it is I would maybe like a couple of shimmers that are on the lighter side, um, but I can always pull the pigment in. I've got a big enough collection that I don't need to have absolutely everything in one palette. Um, I think if you are a beginner, this is quite, the, the, the grungy tones, can look a little bit muddy, you have to be careful with them. Um, but they are beautiful to work with, you've just got to be careful that it doesn't end up looking sort of over blended and muddy. Um, so if you're a beginner, I would perhaps say maybe leave this one 
and give this a go like a second time the blend bunny lens palette is a great first off because that is just a true rainbow they're all sort of general standard tones um whereas this one's a little bit more grungy got a little bit of something else to it you will know if you watched my last video which was the beauty bay retro love first impressions that i love beauty bay's formula this is the jade palette this has got everything this one if you're a beginner would be amazing because it literally has everything you could ever think of you've got neutrals blues greens purples yellows oranges reds pinks it's got everything it really has now the only thing with this palette i don't love the way it's laid out the color story would look a lot more cohesive if it was laid out differently for me it's not a problem because i can sort of see it in my head um but i know like if you'd have given me this as like a 15 year old i'd have been like i don't know what to do um so it is it's a great beginner palette it's just a shame it's not in a different um sort of layout but you've got some really nice like iridescent shimmers there's pastels there's bright mattes it's a really good all-rounder um and you know you could start off just using your neutral tones and then you can sort of branch out into the color which is what i really like about it as well and it is super affordable i think it's about 25 30 pound full price but it is very very rarely at full price um so definitely one i would recommend if you're making a beauty bay order chuck it in your cart because you will love it i don't really feel like it could be a rainbow palette without a carnival palette this one i think is my favorite um this is interstellar so this is the latest one and I think in terms of it being a rainbow palette with a little bit of pizzazz, this one has definitely got the most pizzazz. I mean, even just looking at it, it's just so gorgeous. Um, but you've got all these sort of grey tones. They've all got different undertones. So you've got this like a greeny grey. You've got more like a beigey grey, which I really like because the only other palette I've ever seen do that is my name. Um, and obviously we don't talk about him because... Um, we don't deal with that toxicity here um so it's nice to see another brand come out with a gray tone palette sort of section that has all these different kind of tones in it so they've got some really intense high shimmers i don't love the two press glitters um i like press glitter but i think press glitters have their place and in a palette i just think they get really messy like unless it's a pressed glitter palette um but they are really pretty shades it's just i probably wouldn't use them when i'm reaching for like a general basic palette if that makes sense um i'd rather they'd put two of these like really creamy shimmers in just using this compared to my old carnival palette you can tell how far the formula has come um and i still love the carnival um carnival xl was the first one i picked up um but this one just is really is a step above again it's just a really great got everything in it rainbow palette you just sort of missing the neutrals but if you are anything like me you don't really need neutrals in your collection because you don't really use them this one is great this one is something i don't really see people ever talk about but i love this palette this is the sensorium um yeah sensorium sensor Sensorium? Sensorium. I think it's Sensorium. This is the chapter one palette anyway. Um, this is, again, so beautiful. I mean, that's that's my favourite thing about Rainbow palettes. You look at the neutral palettes and you're like, yeah, it's nice. But I look at these and I'm like, oh, pretty. Um, so this one, again, it's got this really gorgeous, like, almost cream shadow kind of reminds me of the natasha denona cream to powder eyeshadow formula you've got some really great neutrals some really great ooh, something's quite clearly spilled on this but we're just gonna ignore that um <laughs> some really great neons this yellow is incredible um and then you've got sort of your basic shades i think it's a really good rainbow palette because it doesn't overwhelm with a lot of one color um, I find a lot of rainbow palettes have that sort of primary colour that they stick to. 
and then they sort of go out from there whereas this is very very varied we've got some like really individual shades like this one this is critical no optical I can't read um, which is like this really like strange neony browny greeny khaki I don't know what shade it is but it's so cool um, you've got some really nice like basic greys in here a couple of neutrals I just feel like you've got everything in this palette um, and it really like pushed me out of my comfort zone when I first got it which I loved because it wasn't just oh I'll just do like a I'll get this rainbow palette and I'll do an all red smoky eye or I'll do an all pink look um, it really sort of pushed me to think about my colour theory a little bit more next up I wanted to mention made by Mitchell do you want some milk what a palette name this is this is one that I mentioned in my 10 palettes would I repurchase them or not? This was a resounding yes. This is not as rainbow as some of the ones I've mentioned today. Um, it is more focused on sort of the pinks and the reds and then like the khaki colours. But again, it's just a really great mix. As much as I love cow print, and you know I love cows, I've literally got a new cow tattoo, which is really hard to show because of where it is on my arm. Um... Yeah, you really can't see her. But either way, I've got, I've got new cow tattoo. I love cows. I'm obsessed with cows. But I do find this background to this palette to be a little bit distracting. Now, <laughs> you could definitely do a drinking game with this uh, video, but I definitely wouldn't recommend it because I think you would end up pretty messy. So uh, don't take a shot every time I say something's pretty. But anyway, Cash Beauty Colour Strip Palette. First off, it's got these graphic liners at the top, which I love the idea of if I'm travelling because we can use them um, while I'm traveling. The color story is very cohesive. Like you sort of look at it and you go, oh yeah, that makes sense in my brain. You know, you've got like the yellowy neutrals, the pinks and the reds, the purples, the blues and the yellow, and then a green and some neutrals. And I just think it's it's a really good sort of all round palette. Um, I was really shocked actually when Cash Beauty launched this because um, obviously a lot of their stuff is really neutral um, but like this this baby blue here is like a almost like a glitter topper um, which is beautiful it's got like a pink reflect in it um, this is like a really creamy shimmer um, which again is almost sort of topperish um, and the mattes are just really nice they're a little bit more hard pressed you don't have to work with them but like when you look at the fact I just literally dipped my little finger in that purple um, you know pebbles are notoriously hard to formulate she smashed the formula with this one um, yeah I really didn't expect Cash Beauty to come out with a palette like this but I am really happy they did because I really love it um, I think it's really underrated I never see anybody mention it um, and I really think it deserves more hype now this last one might be me cheating a little bit this is the Kaleidos Escape Pod. Now this isn't as rainbow as all the other palettes I've mentioned, but I really wanted to mention it because it's just one of those palettes that just takes my breath away basically. Um, nine really, really beautiful mattes. You can do sort of a purpley pink look. You can go sort of bluey pink. It's Like I said, it's not as rainbow as the others, um, but then you can pull like the greens in from the shimmers. But the reason I love this palette so much are these shimmers. These are creamy, metallic, glittery, just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous shades. Um, I absolutely love them. And I just think this is a really great palette. It's not too overfacing. And I think that's what I like about it, sort of as a rainbow palette, is you look at it and you know what you want to do with it. It's not something you look at and go, oh God, what colour do I choose? Um, so obviously, you know, you are missing sort of your yellows, um, more sort of blues, some green mattes, but I still think you can get like a really bright, really rainbowy look from this palette without needing those shades in here. Um, it, it's not something I'd ever have as the only rainbow palette in my collection, but as a rainbow palette in my collection, I do really love it. 
so that is it from me today i hope you did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more from me hit that subscribe button you've been fabulous i've been called the ball and i'll see you next time bye